Hey everybody and good morning. It's morning over here in Idaho. It's about eight o'clock in the morning and it's kind of dark and dreary and I'm having a hard time with the lighting. So hopefully I don't look too dark. Um, so let's talk about what's in my warming basket, melting basket, warming drawer. I have one of these. So I actually picked more selections this time because last time I kept picking outside of the box. I guess. <laughs> so let's start. I've already gone through three and I will talk about those but not in detail because I'll share those with my empties video. I finished a beach from Scentsy and this was an older bring back my bar. I finished a sugared strawberry from the original scent of the month a few years back so I finished that one. And then I finished, but I'm still working on, it's actually warming right now, vanilla, caramel, spice, and might I say it's very, very powerful and very strong. This is actually day two or three, so it's it's really strong. Just FYI. All right, so I wanted to get through some of my vendor wax. I wanted to get through some um, Goose Creek and, of course, Scentsy, and then I have some other vendors here mixed in. I'm going to go ahead and start with Ella After. I pulled a Who Hash. I've had this one for a while, so I would like to finish that one. And I will kind of be lightly giving you the scent notes on these. Some of these I won't, and if I don't, I apologize. Um, but I will on this one because they're right here. It's Celtic Sugar Cookie and Moon Spice. So that is Who Hash. And then another one is called Drink Me. And I actually started on this one a while back, and this was gifted to me by, by Miss Cindy, one of my viewers. Um, she's really sweet. It's blueberry cheesecake and black tea. And then returning from last time, Silent Night and Netflix, and I put Cindy on there. That, that This was a special treat from Cindy. I really like this one. I just was unable to finish it last time. And then I have... I double bagged it, but it is Pond of Tears. And it is funnel cake, salty sea air, and vanilla ice cream. So we have that one. I think that's one that I purchased. All right, now moving on from Pumpkin Parcel, and I did start on some of these. It was my most recent haul. Um, Hermione Granger, and this is in the Snap Bars. And this one was the parchment paper and minty toothpaste kind of combination. You're thinking, ew, you know, but I warmed it and you guys, uh, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I mean, don't judge it when you first smell this. You're probably thinking that's kind of nasty, you know, but I kind of like this one, you guys. So that is Hermione Granger. And then I'm going to work on jack-o'-lantern, which is, I think, candle smoke, like regular paraffin candle smoke, and fresh pumpkin. I think that's what it is. And you're probably thinking, yuck. But it's not bad at all on cold. So, yeah, so I can't wait to warm that one. It kind of smells like roasted pumpkin. I know that sounds bad, but it kind of smells. It really smells like Halloween. Then I have butterbeer from Pumpkin Parcel. And then from Pumpkin Parcel, I've already started on this scent shot pot and it is Pistachio Parade. And this was one of the samples that um, April sent me with, she's the owner of Pumpkin Parcel. She sent me this one. This is very, very good. And then I'm gonna finish um, the Siren and I only have two wax melts left of this so yeah so I'll be working on those and then from heart and home I have very berry cheesecake and Georgia peach so as you can see there's there's a well-rounded selection here and then from lovely wax and bath I have parade around town in these cute little shapes they look like candy got hearts and she even put like a little sticker pour date on the back um and this one is cotton candy 
animal crackers, I can't read the rest of it, vanilla, something, pound cake. So, yeah. So I'm going to be warming that. And then from Sensationals, returning from last time, I have pumpkin apple muffins. And then from Waxidents, we have this pretty little snap bar wheel called Vineyard. And it's plump Merlot, Cabernet, and Zinfandel grapes. So, yeah. So we're going to worm that one. All right, and then from Goose Creek, because I'm still trying to get through my Goose Creek stash, I have white icing cinnamon rolls, bedtime stories, hibiscus fruit punch, sugared donut, yum, huh? and Dutch Stroop Waffle. And then from Scentsy, I kind of went a little heavy on Scentsy, but I most of my wax is Scentsy. And some of these, you're probably thinking, I have never even heard of those wax milks. That's how ancient some of these are. I have um, Ginger and Spruce Brick, and I have like five slots left of this. So I also have another brand new brick of this, so I really want to try to get through this one as soon as possible. And then we have Cranberry Garland because Christmas is going to be here someday. So Cranberry Garland, one of my most favorite Christmas holiday scents is this one. I have another bar of this and I think this one's discontinued. I just love this, you guys. I love Cranberry Garland. <sighs> mm. I love it, love it, love it. It's absolutely wonderful. Then I have Marshmallow Mint Cocoa. I got this one earlier this spring. It was out last year as a brick, but I got it as a regular size bar. And then I have Perfect Pumpkin Pear. This is from the original scent of the month, which I picked up with my Enchanted Warmer Pumpkin, which is back here. So that is Perfect Pumpkin Pear. And then from an older scent of the month, or not scent of the month, bring back my bar. I have spiced pear. So you're probably thinking, yeah, I've never even heard of spiced pear. So yeah, spiced pear. Have not warmed it yet. Another one that I've never warmed is my home. This was also a bring back my bar. So spiced pear, my home. Marshmallow Mint Cocoa. So far, I've never warmed these yet, so it'll be interesting. And let's see, the one that I have worn before is Autumn Hearth. I love Autumn Hearth, you guys. This is just totally fall. So I'll be warming that one. And then the rest of these, I've never warmed. I have, well, take that back. I wore one cube the other day, Quiet Clementine. This is so good, you guys. I really like this one. This is really different. Really different. Not your regular orange scent. It has a twist to it. So, yeah. Very, very good. Quiet Clementine. And then we have Huckleberry Sage. I've never warmed Huckleberry Sage. Um, Patricia Gates from Nose to Toes had this on her Tester Tuesday review a couple weeks back, maybe a little longer. Um, and I was like, you know what? I need to add that to my drawer. Yes, 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 yes. So I added it. So I'm an ex I'm very excited to warm that one. And then Rockin' Ruby Raz. Boy, that's a vibrant pink, isn't it? Um, I've never warmed this one either, you guys. So come on, Kelly, get with the book, get with the program here. And then last but not least, we have Radiator Springs. So that one's going in as well. So there you go. So you guys, that is what I'm going to be warming. I have a little special, uh, some pictures to show you here at the end. Um, my daughter acquired a new family member, my oldest daughter, Rachel. It's of the canine variety and he is super cute. His name is Rusty. He is eight weeks old. He is half long haired dachshund and half short haired Boracolli. His mama was red and white, 
and his dad is kind of a spotted white and gray merle. He's not really merle. He's he's mostly white with spots on him. That's I guess would be a better description of him. And he has the long hair, which is funny. He has the long hair, but the mom has the short hair. Anyway, this puppy is absolutely adorable. I think we all need a little puppy in our life. Don't you think? Like, yeah. And the puppy breath. I wish that they could bottle up puppy breath and just keep it in a jar. And when you want to smell that sweet puppy breath, you just open up the jar and smell puppy breath. Some people don't like puppy breath, you know, but... Who doesn't like puppies and puppy breath? Really? Seriously. So I hope this makes your day, you guys. And if you don't want to watch, you can just you can just skip it. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye.